Hello and welcome to the um, setting up a sign-in station webinar for AccuClass. My name is Nick Armstrong. I'll be going over um, how you can get that done and this will help prevent so you don't have to call a roll. Um, just have the students basically swipe in at a computer in your classroom and you know automatically be uh, counted for being present, absent, or what have you. So. Um, in here we're going to go over a few extra things just so you can get it set up so that the signed in stations will work and um, you'll see um, you know what other settings would need to be adjusted so that you can control how that is and if you're an instructor you may not actually see these settings but um, as a college admin um, you might so let's get started all right as you can see here um, we're going to go ahead and set up our status rules um, in the top part, we have um, an attendance statuses where it basically gives you um, a few that we've already pre uh, thought out. Um, you know, of course, like present, absent, excused, uh, left early, tardy. Um, these can all be changed the wording as to what you'd like them to be. And, um, you know, whether it counts them as a full credit in percentage, you know, so one is 100%, um, you know, the 0.5 for instance um, and they can be removed and you can add other statuses as well um, 0.5 would be like half credit um, and then you know once you've created all the statuses you want <coughs> here um, you can move down to the um, selection rules and figure out how those statuses are going to be applied when the students swipe in um, you'll basically be setting up windows um, like for instance the time that it, they're allowed to sign in before uh, the classroom starts and um, you know like this one we have 15 minutes we also have uh, the tardy time being 10 minutes after the um, hour so they have a 25 minute window essentially to get in and be considered present um, you know according to these rules you also have you know whether they're you know, absent, how that's controlled if they didn't sign in or out. Um, if the student was, you know, late uh, by 30 minutes, that's still considered an absent according to these rules. Um, we also have uh, left early status, meaning if they left before um, the class ends, like more than 20 minutes. All right. <clears throat> and this just kind of explains the rules even in more detail. Um, you know, and you can change those to whatever status you'd like to give them, you know, based on those rules. <clears throat> so, you know, we have, uh, you know, different ways of handling each different status. <clears throat> okay, so the next part we're going to go into creating a, or assigning a sign-in station. This is actually done... Um, through the same process and here's just a few of the things that you'll be you know required to put in um, obviously um, a, a name for it and these sign-in stations can actually be um, assigned they're assigned to a computer but they can actually follow either the schedule of a, an instructor or the room itself so for instance in these examples we have room 101 um, because that's the room that is going to be following the schedule um, so but if uh, there was an instructor that had their own laptop that wanted to have students sign in there, um, they could actually create that sign-in station on their laptop and have it follow their schedule throughout the day. Okay, and, you know, some other things like uh, instructions, you know, you can either leave what's in there or, um, you know, put some simple instructions that you like in there. You can also, as a admin, you can put in a passcode, so if you're wanting your um, instructors to have limited access where they can pretty much just add um, a new student or assign a card to a new student um, as well as they can change the class so let's say the wrong class is showing up you can change the class that they're signing into um, normally it's going to be you know based on the schedule so unless the schedule was input wrong it should be the right class then you have two options you can either <coughs> um, save and install in that location um, you know on that computer basically or save without installing so if you're an admin you're going through setting up a lot you can you know save it and then you know put the next one in and keep going 
So this brings us to deleting or uninstalling a sign-in station. Um, the problem with deleting is that you're permanently getting rid of that sign-in station, so you'd have to go ahead and recreate it again. Um, you know, that's something you want to, you know, be cautious of. When you hit delete, it does actually ask for a confirmation, though. So, um, you know, it's not that hard, uh, not that easy to do. Um, the other thing is if you're actually just removing that sign-in station, maybe you're going to install it on a different computer, um, you have the option to uninstall. So that would be the preferable, you know, option to do. All right, the next thing we're going into is assigning cards to students. This is really a simple process. From the main menu in um, AccuClass, you're going to go ahead and click on Assign Cards. When you get to this section, you're going to have the student swipe the card or type in their ID <coughs> on the card. And then um, from that drop down, uh, the second option there, you'll select the student or type in the student's name and then click Assign. It quickly jumps to another blank form so that you can, you know, take care of a whole line of students here um, that may be waiting to get that done. And then, you know, you just keep hitting assign until you get everybody in and then hit close to get out of there. And that's something you may want to do, you know, the first time they come in. If you don't have their card numbers already imported in the system, um, that's the easy way to go ahead and do that. Now, if you, your IT went ahead and imported them um, or your administration did that, then you don't have to worry about this step. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, we're going to look at the sign-in station um, being set up. And you can kind of see um, down in the left corner of that screenshot, it's really small there, uh, you have a little admin option. Okay, so here we go. We're going to log into our uh, AccuClass account. I'm just using the demo account. Okay, when I get there, uh, under students, we have assigned cards as you, uh, as we were talking about earlier, or, um, you know, down below that, there's the sign-in stations. So we just click on sign-in stations. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and create a new one. Um, I already have a few in there, but, um, you know, we'll just create a new one to see how it's done. Okay, and as you can see here, we're going to um, give it a name. And I'm going to have this one follow the room, so we're going to do room 102, just for a name. I'm going to leave this uh, simple enough. Now, here we go to the mode. We have manual and kiosk mode. Manual allows you to pick whether they're signing in or out based on an arrow. Um, you just click it, you know, to be in or out on the sign-in screen. Um, kiosk mode takes into consideration when the class starts, when the class ends, also, whether the student signed in or out already. Um, this can help, too, if you have, you know, them sign in and out for restroom breaks or anything like that. You know, it'll automatically know whether it's a sign in, sign out, and so on and so forth. So kiosk mode is probably, you know, preferable in that instance. Okay. Um, so um, then we go to our student names here. And um, you can have that show up. You have student photos show up if those are imported. Um, you can also allow creating new students, but um, it's not usually recommended because if they've already imported all the students in, um, you don't want them to, you know, duplicate, um, you know, may possibly, you know, if they have the same ID, it shouldn't allow that. But, um, you know, they could put in like a, an odd number for their uh, student ID and, and be able to create themselves. And uh, we usually recommend not, you know, allowing that, but you can from that screen, so... This is where we're putting in an admin passcode. So if you had instructors that you wanted to just do, you know, some light things in the um, sign-in screen. And then right there, I just assign the uh, classroom <coughs> below that. And because um, we're not doing the instructor. And you can see I can either install it here or um, save without installing. So we're going to go ahead and choose save and install here. Okay, once it's uh, saved, we get a confirmation message. I'm going to go ahead and click on Home, and you'll notice that we have a switch to sign-in station mode now. Okay, if we go ahead and click on that, um, we're going to see the sign-in station instead of being logged in um, to the admin panel here. Okay, and as you can see right now, it's saying we have no classes taking place in that room, and it's because it's following the schedule. 
Okay, but we want to change that. So as an instructor or whatever, um, you could actually use that admin passcode that they came up with. And we just use that and click login. Now you can see we have assigned cards to students as well as change class. And we're going to want to change the class on this. Okay, so I select the artistic impression because I know even though it's not scheduled for that room, we're going to um, be taking the class in that area. Alright, so I just, all I have to do is pick one of those, and if you notice, it does actually have the date and the time. Okay, and I hit enter. Okay, so it should change to that class. Okay, and um, it may complain a little bit because it's just giving you a warning saying that it, it's not the proper class, time, um, and everything like that. So we're going to go ahead and you know, enter a user here. We're going to use the 555 nine times that we saw earlier. And right now it's signing them in, and it's signing them into unresolved. And we'll go into that more later. But basically, what that is is if the user isn't registered for that, um, it's going to just put them in an unresolved uh, list. Okay. All right. And uh, so that's pretty much how the, the sign in stations work. Uh, you can always go log back in um, to AccuClass.net, you know, and do the normal login, you know, from the admin options down at the bottom, <clears throat> and um, get that, uh, you know, uh, unresolved activity uh, to show up in the list there. Um, now we do have other options as well. We have uh, MagStripe readers, uh, barcode readers, and um, as well as the traditional keyboard uh, for people to scan or swipe in. Now, if you don't have any of those um, available at your school and you wanted a quick and easy method, um, we also offer RFID where you purchase these key fobs and um, the reader for it. And once you guys um, have both of those, you assign those uh, cards out, basically, uh, the key fobs out to your students and when they come in to uh, take attendance uh, they just you know get it close proximity to that reader and they're in uh, for the for the day for that class all right and some other additional options we have is um, using our AccuClass app with Apple devices and you can see we have some attachments that allow you to um, read a mag stripe if it's just a barcode, you can actually use the built-in cameras on most of the Apple devices. And um, like it says, it's available for the iPod, iPhone, or iPad. Um, so it will work with all of those um, different versions. And um, we also offer, um, in addition to the Apple devices, <coughs> um, we offer the uh, wall-mounted time clock. And um, this is something really neat. It's uh, basically interfaces right with the AccuClass website. So if you have mag stripes, just have them uh, swipe their cards uh, on that wall, uh, mount a time clock, and they'll be signed in or out for your AccuClass. So if you have any questions or want more details on that, um, you can contact our sales department. Um, and that's through our contact page on engineerica.com. And uh, pretty much we're at the end here, so I just want to thank you for watching and uh, remind you, you can subscribe to our Engineerica uh, YouTube channel. Also, we are open to uh, any suggestions for improvements with AccuClass. So we created an accuclass.uservoice.com website that you can go ahead and submit um, up to 10 ideas or vote um, three times per idea that other people have submitted. It's a really neat website, an easy way for us to organize everybody's ideas and submissions. And if you still need help with setting up your sign-in station, please feel free to contact us at supportengineerica.com or myself directly at nicka at engineerica.com. Alright, and I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and take care.